down the stairs, which is somehow sad and comfortable. And I'm going to pull myself for laughing at it. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some clear feedback. So you said it's all procedurally generated. Is that yeah. so, so it's, it's changing up every time? Yeah. It's cool. Um, I want to read the stairs a little more clearly, like uh, as it kind of goes through. I see the I see what's sort of the left and right of the, the diagonal lines. I want to be able to read read what that is a little more, kind of get a sense of, of a down with it. Um, and, and, and it's kind of a creepy foot animation. I like that. I didn't really see the timer. Did I miss that? Is, it, is there a you said there's a time limit. There's a time limit. There's not. Uh, there's not a visible time. Limit. Okay, so I have to just anticipate that I'm taking it. Um, yeah. That way uh, most of the time, you're going to be actually like hitting this space button preemptively, putting your foot down. Um, As it goes there, so yeah. Like, but, but it's good. I mean, the idea of stepping on Legos, we've all done it. That's that's an excellent sort of an idea. Um, I like that it's simple. Uh, I like your, what you said about the idea of like inspired by mobile games, quick to pick up, and kind of runs through. It's not, not, it's not complicated in that way. Um, I appreciate that it's generated. Um, it's got a level of challenge to it. I can see you making that harder. You can pick up the time limit or change the toys around it and add to it there. So uh, yeah, for, you know, for what you've done, that's, that's, that's fun. That's, uh, you, I think you accomplished your, your target there. Thank you. So uh, as you probably told from the accident, I didn't work in the US, but I do love the fact that the, uh, the pain of stepping on a Lego is truly international. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there was a nice bit of nostalgia there. Um, I, I love the pitch, especially the way that you put it down. It's the, the world's first procedurally generated uh, stair descender. That's, uh, that, that, I think uh, the people who are music like, you know, you've got an elevated pitch, that's pretty much spot on right there, so enjoy that. Um, but I, I like, it did seem to be like what, uh, what I would call a quick fix uh, game. You go in, you play for a bit, you don't, and you go back to it again. That's uh, great. Um, the only question I've got on that is, uh, where's the end? Um, so, as I mentioned before, it probably didn't need a timer. I mean, it had one, but it wasn't as well as we did now. But there's still the case of, okay, that's great. It's, you know, it's, you try and put your foot down to get there. Where is the end game? Where is it? This is supposed to go on forever, because if that's the case, apparently the way to do it now is to add loot boxes. So, I'm not too sure where to go. So, I'd say, you know, give us some sort of idea of, well, originally we were going to have sort of like a descending, the like idea of like you're descending a set of stairs, and as it goes deeper, you might pick up power ups, and it would get more and more difficult. Um, but we that was ended up to be outside of our scope. So uh, I think at this point it is just going to be infinite, or yeah, it would be infinite, and you would just go on forever. Them's the brakes on stuff. Yeah, and I, I would echo that as well. I'm glad we thought about what you could do with power-ups. Um, I agree with Jim's comment about making the stairs more discernible, um, so doing a little bit more with art there. I mean, I love the concept, though. I think it's super cool. It's very suitable for mobile, for, without, without a doubt. Um, I, I would think about how do you mix up the gameplay, though. Like, you know, is it, are you going down the stairs at night, so it's harder to see the pieces? You know, does he not have his glasses on, so it's blurry? Um, is one of the power-ups like the slippers that he had finds a slipper on the stairs and he can actually go down faster. Things like that to kind of mix up the games that I think would really help, but I, but I really like the core idea. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I also thought this was a really fun treatment of the thing. It's something that all parents can identify with. Uh, the core gameplay is really different from anything else that we've seen. And I think it could work really well as a phone game. Just pull it up and play it for a few minutes. Uh, I thought it was... Uh, there's a clever mechanic there where you see the silhouette of your foot before you drop it down. It feels a little bit like Tetris, if Tetris were top down instead. Um, that was fun. Uh, is every step actually winnable? Um, it's not. There's technically not a function to make sure it's winnable, but the way it generates, I've never encountered a step that isn't winnable. Interesting. Uh, yeah, so procedural thing generated games in general struggle with this where uh, it's important that make sure that every stage is actually winnable. It can be super, super hard, but uh, not, not prematurely kind of sure that it's wrong. Uh, yeah, I thought this was uh, a really good effort. Thank you. So for my, my uh, having a good pitch ring here, uh, always uh, interested in how people will present their material, because uh, it gives me good insight sometimes on uh, the uh, kind of work they did on it. Uh, overall, I thought it was good. I really liked the theme. Um, I also felt bad about laughing at the uh, ending there. <laughs> Very well done. Uh, 
Actually, so my, my primary note was also going to be on the uh, procedural effect where that can cause sort of short falls, you know, if there's no function to maintain, uh, when, a, uh, when a win condition can be reached on each step, that can cut a player short and it can, uh, can bring down some of the unilateral competition, which is not a bad thing necessarily, just restart. Um, but my other thought was the moving uh, uh, objects, like the car and the alligator, really great touch. A way you could uh, work with that perhaps would be to cause them to push the bricks around a bit as they moved, and that could neutralize the uh, procedural issue. Uh, overall, it looks really fun. I'd play it, so great work. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh